Hello, peeps, and welcome back. So, I'm so excited. 1.9 just came out uh, like two hours ago, and I've been messing around ever since it did. So, as you can see, I'm holding two swords. And I also noticed you can flash them back and forth like this. <laughs> yeah, it looks super cool. Anyways, enough of that dumb stuff. Uh, my swords, or the way you do that is you just click F to put an item in your offhand or take it out by clicking F again. Or you can just switch it back and forth in your hands. So that looks cool too. Okay. So, uh, in here. I have a few new items. So there's the dragon head, which I think is going to be a reward that you get from killing the ender dragon. <laughs> Looks so amazing. And the mouth closes and opens too. And I walk forward, it opens and closes. Did, 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 did. That's silly. That's awesome though. Okay. And. Oh, Alright, let me take off this giant dragon. <laughs> I love this update. It's so cool. And also, you can now throw under pearls in creative. Boom. Uh, and also, if you if my recording is fast enough, it'll actually take away one and then put it back really quickly because of the way they have to code it, I think, or something like that. That's just a thing I noticed, though. And so here's the new shulkers, which are awesome. Here, let me go and get my zero. Hello. Oh no, I've been hit a lot by them. Well. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I kind of forget to heal. But, so as you can see, they just open and look around. And then, they'll actually open and hit you. And then you'll get the new levitation potion effect. And the level, if any of you actually cared, was level zero. That's how high the potion effect of levitation is. Oh yeah, and also guys, I wanted to note that when you get hit by the levitation effect, let me go in survival. All right, come on, hit me. Uh. So when I get hit with l l one of these and then I'm levitating, if I'm in water, the effect doesn't work. But if I'm out of the water, then it does. And also, all your effects get displayed up in the top right. And as you can see, it's flashing because it's almost out. So that's how those work. So those guys are pretty cool. And if you want to see the bottom, then here's a dinner bone one kind of opens up upside down though, it's kind of funny. Alright, let's kill that. Let me get my sword. Uh, oh no! And also, it still does affect you in creative, but you can just fly down and stuff. So let's kill you guys. Oh, this one. Oh yeah, and it's soup. They can teleport? I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, well they can teleport when they're open it apparently just figured that out and also you can't really hurt them that much at all unless they're open so yeah it's pretty awesome I love those guys I want to get like a stuffed one or something can't <laughs> keep breaking so when you kill the ender dragon this will be here before you do and then the portal will just appear and also the ender egg and also uh, let's see. There were some cages around here, but I had to destroy them so that the Ender Dragon wouldn't be wrecking the showcase. Okay. And so there's a new feature with uh, these glass panes as well. Instead of the weird X's that they used to make when there was only one, now they're just these. So if you thought fence parkour was annoying, wait for this. Okay, so here are all the new types of arrows as well. So here's the regular arrow, 
the potion of weakness arrow, the strength arrow, the regeneration arrow, poison arrow, harming arrow, healing, water, water bottle? <laughs> I don't think any of you are expecting water. I guess it supposed to be water maybe it's supposed to be water breathing I don't know but potion of slowness swiftness fire resistance leaping invisibility and night vision oh yeah and also spectral those are really cool okay so I'm gonna try out all the spectral arrows now or not spectral all the effect arrows okay so the way you use these arrows is you click F and then that'll put your, them in your offhand so that you can shoot whatever arrows in your offhand slot so I'm gonna shoot a spectral arrow I believe yeah and that gives you the new effect glowing so that will give the pig a glowing effect if you saw and also the arrows kind of are pink and look like that in the ground Okay, next arrow. This is the harming arrow. It's probably as you expected. Potion of harming. Poison. Regeneration. Okay, next is the strength arrow. So that'll make a mob hit harder or a friend or whoever you shoot with it. Weakness arrow. Can't hit as hard. Same thing pretty much. Uh, night vision. I would give you night vision if you got hit with it. I was thinking some of these arrows could be like useful with a friend if you shot them and they needed a certain effect. And invisibility. Leaping. Probably not going to help that pig though. Fire resistance. Swiftness. Speedy Gonzales pig. Slowness. regular arrow and the last two the healing arrow that'll just heal them when you shoot it it's kind of pointless and then the water bottle arrow I think it's supposed to be water breathing and there's one extra pick you win today okay now I'm gonna go over some of the new end blocks so there's this new thing called the ender rod which glows and looks like this if you place them on top of each other and also can just float in midair like a block and these are really good for parkour too but they're also like half slabs so you could just walk on them when they're on walls like this okay there's also these new types of plants called chorus plants and as you can see have been growing a lot they haven't or they haven't updated the end so it has like the dungeons and stuff I'll do another one when they add that but they haven't yet okay so these new ones when you break the bottom block or any block they'll go like in dominoes they'll break boom look at that that's so cool okay and these two Let me get some of these. And this. Okay. And then once you get your coarse fruit, then you can put it in a furnace and turn it into popped coarse fruit. Which I thought was going to be like popcorn, but you can't eat it. Which I'm very disappointed by. So once you get your popped coarse fruit, I'm just going to cheat and steal some. Then you can craft per per blocks yeah uh... mo yang i think you could have come up with a better name maybe 
But I actually really like it because it's funny. Yeah, purr purr blocks. Kitten blocks. Get it, purr purr. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so then you can craft purr purr slabs, purr purr stairs, purr purr pillars, and this is what the new dungeons are made of. And also with endstone, now you can craft endstone brick, which looks pretty awesome. And I don't think I've said yet, but I really love Ender stuff. Like Enderman. That's my favorite mob. So that's why I love Shulkers so much. Okay. So. Now I want to show something else new that they've added. Um, Beats from Pocket Edition. That's right. Beats. Beats awesome so let me place some down so here's this stage this stage and this stage so all of the stages and I am in creative that was dumb okay let me go in game mode zero so when I break this it will give me some seeds and a beat or a few beats and when I eat it, it only restores half of a hunger bar. But beetroot soup will restore three. Boop. So, I'm actually really glad they added beets. It was funny, the other day I was telling my friend I wish they would add beets from Pocket Edition in 1.9. And then they did. <laughs> oh wait, actually I wasn't telling a friend that was in the survival video. Hmm. That's funny. And if any of you guys were wondering how you find the beats naturally, um, you can find them in villages. So whenever you find a village, just look around and you'll probably find some beats. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So I think that's, a oh wait, no, I'm not gonna forget this thing. Okay, so the new chorus plants. Let me go into game mode one. If you get one of these and one of these, then you place them on top, or one here and then one here, then this will grow. So it'll start like going up and off in random directions and stuff. So, yeah. Alright guys, one last thing that I wanted to show you. So, once you kill the ender dragon, oh yeah, as well, sorry, before I say this, these will spawn now in a circle, and the ender dragon will have fiery breath. Okay, so I'm super excited. This little guy will spawn once you kill the ender dragon. You can throw an ender pearl in it, and teleport to the re and end which has chorus plants everywhere they're awesome and you can get them and these little ones mean that they're not going to grow anymore I believe so yeah yeah this is super awesome and also little platforms like this little islands will spawn around it I've noticed so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like well actually if you want me to do another snapshot video please leave a like and I will hopefully find out as much as I possibly can next time bye